Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a user-defined function using an if-then-else statement in Excel. So I have here fictitious data in this worksheet. I have an ID number for participants and a score, and this would presumably be a score for a course, like a total total points out of 100 for a course. And I want to create a user-defined function to allow me to grade these scores according to this table on the right. So greater than or equal to 90 is an A, 80 to 89 is a B, and so on. So using Alt F11, I can move over to the VBA editor. And I have another video I've made before called creating a user-defined function using the select case method. And this is the code from that video. So I'm going to show you how to do the same thing as what I've done here with the select case, but using uh, if-then-else statement. So the function will stay the same. So the way I started this was I inserted a module, in this case module 1, and typed function, the name of the function, in this case grade, x as an integer, and then the whole thing, grade, as a string, because it returns a string. And when you type this in and hit enter, the end function will come up automatically. And the code is what you have in between. So there are some similarities and differences between the select case method and using an if-then-else statement. So I'll show you by building out the if-then-else statement. So we'll start with uh, the low end, as we did before with the select case. So it'll be if x is less than 60, then. You want to make sure you put the then in there. And hit enter. And I'm just going to tab just to make this a little easier to read. The grade in this case will equal F. Now notice that I don't have to put grade in uppercase because it's the name of the function. So as soon as I hit enter, it's going to change it to all the same case that I have up here. So now I want to indicate what grade should come up for less than 70. So I would not use else in this case. So, so the simplest form of if then else is just that. It's if, then, and then you have else. So you only have really two possibilities. You know, if it's one thing, you have one subroutine that runs, or else it's another. But you can take the if then else statement a step further by using else if. So the else if in this case, x is less than 70. You'll need the then here again. Now the grade will equal d. Moving to the next level, which would be less than 80 for a grade of c, I'm going to continue with else if. In this case, x is less than 80. Make sure to include then grade equals C. Again, I can continue with else if for the grade of B. So the else if X is less than 90, then the grade will equal a B. So this is where we have a departure from the if-then-else statement compared to the select case. You can see now this is commented out. The select case is commented out so that it's not active. This code won't run, uh, the code in green. But you see for the last option, its case is greater than or equal to 90. Well, we know we're working with a score that's 
either going to be less than 60, 70, 80, or less than 90 or above. So the only other option is it's going to be above. So this is where we would end uh, the if-then-else statement with the else. So this would not be an else if for the very last uh, grade. It would be just else because it's the only possibility that remains. We know it has to be 90 or above in this instance if it did not meet any of these other criteria. So we would know this would be an A. And there's no then here because that's it. This is the end of the statement. So there's the if then else. Now we do have to close the if then else statement with the terms and if, just as we did down here with end select. So looking at this if then else statement, this code will perform the same function as the select case just using if then else as opposed to select case, but the output will be the same. So if I move back to the worksheet, uh, I would expect if I put the function here that I would get an A return. So let me try that, equal sign. We use this just like any other function, even though it's user defined, grade. And the argument it's looking for is X as an integer, which in this case would be the score or cell B2. And I expect this if, when I hit enter to return A, and it does. If I autofill this down, I would expect the 74 to equal C. If I autofill down, and it does. And I'll autofill all the way down, and you see that the grades correspond correctly to the scores in every instance, exactly as the select case method uh, worked. And of course, there's many other ways to achieve the same goal. Um, but in this video, I want to demonstrate the if then else and using the else if. And this is a good example to see the functionality of the if then else statement. User defined functions are dynamic, so they'll change based on, in this case, the value of the score. So to give you an example, uh, we know that 89 is a B, but say this was entered incorrectly or the grade was changed for some reason and it becomes a 90, you can see that the function updates and now it's an A. I hope you found this video on creating a user-defined function using an if-then-else statement in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.